What it's whacking guys, welcome to episode 9 of my FCU Threat Career Mode. It's definitely be a very exciting episode as we have quite a few matches. We have this matchup here against Iran Veen uh, to open things up and we definitely want to try to close in on Ajax and PSV of course who are well ahead of, uh, not well ahead of us but of course have some room uh, between us. And of course they have goal differential on us as well which doesn't help in that facet but uh we're going to bring out ruben boyman barazait slavich guamez ayub there in midfield kum uh lewin marquit fuentes and verhoven in the back but definitely look out for tony chiani he's a very good midfielder he plays more of a two-way role uh to be honest with his uh club side in mos columbus crew so we'll see how things go here against him but ayub is going to win the ball here it looks like he's going to cut down, um, try to cut back in. He's going to find the ball here to Barzait. Two Bormans, who is the run of Gomez here. He's going to play Gomez through. He's going to have this space. He's going to tuck this underneath the keeper. Got a little bit of luck there and help from the keeper. Uh, basically looked like he kind of got it in with his foot. Uh -huh. But either way, we will take the goal because it was some nice build-up play to that one. So uh, a great goal from Gomez, of course, being pushed up a little higher up the pitch here in this matchup. And he's able to reward us for that uh, with a goal. So we'll see how this goes in this matchup here. But to be honest, there wasn't too much going on. You'll see this is one of the few chances that you and Rin had here as they just go wide here on a very good chance. But uh, you'll see coming up uh, some of the issues with career mode. We're up here late in the matchup, 1-0. And they're just going to go to the corner and try to hold on the ball as if they are the ones winning this game. So it's very frustrating to see um, this type of stuff happen. It really can be a game killer at times. Uh, to, but uh, hopefully we can get the ball back or I could just let them stay there either way I kind of like you know just have an actual game going on so I do and I'm getting the ball back and you'll see we're gonna come down here down the wing Fuentes cut the ball back to his left foot uh, he's gonna send this ball and all is going to get ahead on it just gonna be a great save from the Iranvin keeper there so we're gonna have a chance on the corner so I really do want to gr try to grab another goal because of course we have to close in on PSV Ajax and like and Lee Lewin is going to reward us with a goal there off of that corner great finish from him the big center back so uh, great to see him rising up and grabbing a goal for us there in that instance so uh, a very good goal and we need to try to keep on pushing on in this matchup and uh, we are able to basically finish the game with a 2-0 lead I do not know what I was talking about either way uh, we have another match coming up against Isle of Den Haag and we definitely want to grab three points against them so we'll see how things go in this episode definitely a good fixture a good results of course uh, playing with some of our newer players and of course trying Flint is out at right back again in his I believe his second match at right back here we're going to face Isle of Den Haag uh, definitely just to see how they play in this matchup going to be a tough one I have to say but uh, either way they're going to come out here play the ball back out wide have a bit of space they really did play very well in this fixture to be honest some Barcelona-esque passing throughout this and it was quite frustrating trying to get the ball back from and look at this a attempted overhead it looked like or Chilena and uh, that hits the keeper thankfully but uh, have a bit of space here again running at the defense they're gonna just take a shot a good save from Verhoeven though regardless so uh, thankfully that keeps things even but it looks like we may have a chance here on this quick kick uh, we're gonna play the ball back out wide here to Fuentes it's gonna have a bit of space it's gonna play the ball back some Gorgeous build-up play. Gomez looks like he has some space here. Put the ball in, and what a run and finish from Boymans. Just some beautiful build-up play again. I'm glad to see that happening there. Great stuff from Gomez. Um, and, of course, a tremendous late run from Boymans, I have to say. You'll see, I believe, I have the replay, I'm not sure. But, uh, either way, Boymans with that great finish. Of course, adding to his goal tally on the season, uh, and that was just tremendous from him. Of course, that late run, you always like those runs from your strikers in the box, showing great presence here. But uh, this is very frustrating. It looked like we had won the ball, essentially, but uh, they do keep the ball. And again, like I was saying, that Barcelona S passing, and they do put this one in the box. It's going to hit off of the crossbar twice. It's going to fall back, and finally, they grab a bit of a cheap goal there quite frustrating I mean we've been playing so well uh, of course that goal was really nice and everything but uh, either way they grab the goal back here and are able to tie things up quite frustrating as you can see with that scurry in the box I wish Verhoeven would just fall on the ground and jumped on that one but he didn't unfortunately it's like they have a bit of space but a great jaw from Lewin I believe that was here to get a foot on that and force a deflection you'll see here looks like they have a bit of uh, sp had the ball here try to play through the back but look at Ruben closing down the defender he's going to win the ball back he's going to round the keeper basically he's going to slot that in very simply so a nice bit of a play from Ruben of course putting pressure on the back line 
always like that, especially if you're playing with two strikers. I do it all the time in FM. I always like to press the back line, and you see it works here in FIFA on this instance. Great job from Ruben to uh, show us some great work, great great presence, and uh, just some good little bit of def defensive ability there. Looks like they're going to have a chance here late in the game. A great ball, though, and you can see just our defense all out of sorts. So basically a counterattack, put this ball in, and look at that. Looks like he handles the ball, and he's going to finish it. Quite frustrating. Sometimes I wish they called handballs, but uh, it would probably be called so much um, for uh, your my side as well, essentially. So uh, they do equalize the game. Pretty frustrating. We honestly should have uh, probably won this matchup. Two lucky goals, I have to say, of course. That would be a handball in real life, but uh, that did not work out uh, as they do grab the equalizer here. It looks like we may have a chance. No, we will not. Unfortunately, this one does end in a nil-nil draw. Very frustrating matchup, I have to say. So hopefully we can continue on. Uh, and you can see we're actually going to take a look at some players here. Um, looks like a guy with some very good potential here. Looks like he... A winger possibly but uh, I'm just gonna bring him in he's here from Norway I uh, just want to bring him to our side I want to have some players I'm always like to, to lean towards Scandinavia as you can see uh, some of the Scandinavian leagues I've looked at before but you'll see I'll take a look at our U squad now I'm actually gonna sign them both up just screw it I'm gonna sign them up I don't know I know a little bit about you signings and the like but uh, it's before May they're attackers so I believe that's the best it's best to buy attackers before May, uh, is what I have gathered, but I'm not sure either way. We'll go with these signings. Hopefully they do well for us, um, and they accept the contracts we are offering them. But our other player actually looks pretty good as well, the Lambert guy uh, there. Uh, he looks like he'd be a very good player. You'll, I'll probably show a little bit more of him uh, pre once we're able to sign him, of course. He's still too young, unfortunately, as you're going to play some Willem Tua here. <laughs> uh, and we're going to make some changes to the side. And honestly, looking back, I do not know why I did this. We were playing pretty well uh, throughout before, but uh, I think I wanted to get Fuentes higher up because he is pretty good in attack. So I wanted to have a little bit more dynamic uh, back line. I put Zulo at left back who can get up pretty well in Kuhn, but uh, definitely going to be tough here against this team. Uh, of course, they're playing that attacking 4-3-3, so we may be able to catch them off guard, but uh, either way, we're going to have the ball played here from Ayub back out to Gomez. Of course, still pretty high up the pitch for defensive mid here in this instance, but Kuma's going to have the ball cut back. He's going to play this ball into Aler and hit that right at the keeper, unfortunately, so uh, a good chance goes a bit to waste, but unfortunately, uh, we're going to have to keep on moving on, try to create stuff here in this matchup, but it looks like the ball's going to be sent down the pitch pretty far. It looks like they may have a chance on this counter, essentially, off of our chance, but uh, we, thankfully, we do win the ball back here, but uh, we're going to get the ball back, play the ball here to Fuentes, and um, we do keep on pushing on Fuentes. It's a nice job holding off his uh, defender. Going to push down, play the ball back to Coombe. A great ball to Ruben. Looks like he has a chance here. He's going to take the shot. And fortunately, it's going to be a good save there. You saw a lot of build-up play than I normally show, so I apologize if that was too long. But either way, you can see some of... Uh, more, I would like to show more about a play eventually, uh, probably later on, because uh, I'm cr trying to kind of rush to the kind of latter parts in this series, to be honest here. But Boyman is going to be played on, on. He has some space here. He's going to cut the ball back here. Going to play it to Ruben. He's going to take the shot. Unfortunately, the keeper makes a great save. So, again, some nice build-up play. But unfortunately, we cannot grab the goal. Of course, the keeper and defense are in great position. It looks like the ball is going to be played back in, and we are going to thankfully win the ball back there with a late saving tackle. You can see there's been quite a few changes that unfortunately you'd not be able to take advantage. Fuentes, of course, has a lot of space here in that wide uh, part of the diamond as a shuttler. You can see the ball played back here to Gomez. He's going to have some space, take the shot. Fortunately, that's going to go wide. So a good chance here to grab the first goal, but unfortunately that did not happen. But either way, we're going to come back here in the second half. A bit of space here as we try to uh, send this cross in. Ball's going to fall back. You just cannot win the header there, unfortunately. It's a very dangerous cross cross but nothing could come out of it but uh, again they start to come out here a very good play and fortunately goes wide uh, for us as it looked like Verhoeven was basically caught up position as usual like keepers are on those short posts as the ball is going to fall back here we may have a chance but it looks like uh, Wilm Tu is going to have a chance here playing the ball back to the middle 
And a great job from our defense to get, getting the ball back. But uh, a bad uh, clearance. But either way, we're going to get the ball back here and try to push forward, grab a goal. Ruben is going to have some space uh, out wide here. He always has a tendency to go a bit wide. He's going to be played back through. He's going to try to send this ball in. But he's going to uh, beat his defender. And look at that. Just should have gone on the end of that. Looked like that was Boyman's there after kind of a flick on. So either way, unfortunately, we do drop the result in this game. Uh drop the two points essentially as we do draw this one no no draw really think we should have grabbed the win but I think yes this is the player I was talking about he looks tremendous as you can see he looks like he's going to be a right-sided player he looks like he'd be very solid for us so guys can pause on him again if you want to see him but I'll show more of him later so you can see our first player uh here he looks like he has he, I, I don't know why I signed him essentially. He's pretty tall though, as you can see with his height there. Play center forward striker Cam, but uh, he is a lot more promising as you can see. It's a bit of speed to him, but uh, you'll see here, uh, I believe eventually he has five star skill moves. Uh, that's very intriguing. Play left mid Cam and he has five star skill moves. So uh, we'll see what can happen with him. Uh, may give a shot to him eventually in the future. We'll see what happens there. Uh, but uh, again, we'll move on to the episode in a second here. The final matchup of the episode, I believe, is going to be against. FC Dordrecht here definitely want to grab the three points against them but uh they all these lower teams seem to always give us the most challenge and it seems like with every career mode I seem to do great against the bigger teams once we go in these smaller teams uh lo lower end of the table teams uh it's always have some tough fixtures we'll see what happens here as the ball is being played back here to Butterzeit. And he's going to have some space. Play the ball back in. Going to be played over here. Boymans has a chance on a great save there. So unfortunately a good chance to go ahead early. But uh, we cannot take advantage of it. But you'll see some great ball, uh, ball retention here. Some great play between these uh, players on the side. But uh, going down the wing is Corte. And he's going to send this ball in. And look at that. We just foul him the ball. I was just trying to clear the ball when I pressed B there. It looked like it was going to ball. It's just going to go to the keeper, but that's going to be a penalty. A bit unlucky, and this game was quite frustrating, I have to say, to be completely honest here. We'll have to see what happens. If we can save the penalty, though, as you can see, again, I was just trying to clear the ball when I pressed B. So, look, the ball is right there, and all I, you have to do is clear it. But uh, said he decides to go for the man for some reason. He's going to take him down the box. We'll see if we can save this one, as that's very well hit into the roof there. So, a very good uh conversion there very good penalty taken so uh, we're gonna go down one nil here very unfortunate I really think we should be up and that should not have been a penalty but uh, those things happen a uh, quite frequently as you see the balls be headed back here and again this type of stuff <laughs> the second balls are so dangerous in this game I have to say especially since the marking is so terrible in FIFA uh, to be honest uh, the defensive line just sits so deep and that screws things up on those second balls I just have to say uh, someone who is quite into analytics of football essentially but uh again we may have a chance here pushing down we'll see what happens uh fuentes has some space it looks like he can send this ball in but unfortunately that's going to hit the crossbar from boymans that was a great chance to cut the lead in half there before halftime but you'll see this type of bad luck happened throughout but that's a great save from verhoven there to keep things two nil could have be a lot worse right now i have to say but uh either way we can try to cut in this lead if we could have cut that to, into that lead from that chance on Boyman's. That would have been great, but uh, either way, great to stay 2-0 uh, thanks to some heroics from our keeper. But uh, they do have the ball again, playing the ball back out wide. Looks like they may grab another goal with the way they're playing. And you'll see some good defending, thankfully, to keep things at 2-0 again. Um, but we looks like we may win the ball back. Gomez has the ball. Uh, he's going to try to play the ball through to Aler. Some great build-up play. Uh, it looks like Verbeek is here out wide. Uh, or Fuentes, excuse me. He's going to have the ball here. Could play it through. A great low cross, but it looks like Aler just loses the ball right there. Oh, man, that was so frustrating in live time. Uh, just to have that basically open net. But, uh, again, we're going to have another chance here. Verbeek on goal, who came on as a sub, is going to take this shot. Unfortunately, cannot convert. Just that type of match it seems like so far. Looks like we may have a chance at on the ensuing corner kick though. But this one's going to be headed wide again. Uh, so that's three chances essentially that... Uh 
basically two of them on the same two or three chances basically I'll say uh, to at least keep the game level to draw the game but uh, we do drop some key points here of course we're going to have some room to make up in the season of course there's but it's 34 games left so six games left in the season uh, three games per episode I believe so uh, we'll see how things go it definitely be interesting finish the season of course I said um, I believe um, we're going to be playing PSV coming up in the next episode so we'll see how that goes in that matchup big chance to possibly cut into our deficit sit on them get level on points depending on how things go or surpass them if they drop points before that but uh, again you'll see here uh, so hopefully we can grab have a some better results better luck in the ne next episode guys uh, however thanks for tuning into this one I really have had great support on this series and thank you guys for that I know I have some uh, Dutch subscribers now I believe so thanks guys for tuning in I'll be signing out now guys and I'll catch you guys later